Hey, what's going on guys? Joe and John here with sandblastingmachines.com and today we're going to be talking to you about breathing air systems. Now, if you're going to operate a blast machine or are otherwise going to be exposed to abrasive blast media, you are required to wear appropriate safety gear. Besides abrasive-resistant clothing, leather gloves, and eye and hearing protection, you also need a NIOSH-approved Type CE supplied air respirator. So let's just go right into the breathing air respirators. What do we have to offer? Uh, yeah, Joe, so when you hit this uh, category, you're gonna see we have both high pressure and low pressure breathing air respirators. Uh, the high pressure is gonna be fed from the same air compressor that we're feeding the blast pot with. Okay. So you wanna keep in mind, you're gonna need about another 17 cubic feet a minute of air, so you need a little bit of extra volume to feed that respirator. Right. And then the LP system is actually gonna be fed by a separate ambient air pump. And we have several different types of breathing air pumps on our site, is that correct? Right, right, so yeah, in the same category, you're gonna you know, move on down, you're gonna see the ambient air pumps, and we sell both the Calypso, the Calypso ambient air pump is electrically driven, okay. and then the CAP4, which is also gonna be driven by your air compressor, but uh, the key to that is you're gonna set these up somewhere upwind of any source that could potentially produce carbon dioxide, so. Oh, very important, yeah. Right, right, you wanna keep it upwind of your air compressor or upwind of any equipment possibly on the job site that may start up and uh, introduce carbon dioxide to the airstream. All right, so continuing to move down the list, we have air control valves, and they control the air that enters the type CE supplied air respirator. Correct, correct. So uh, starting off with the CFC, or constant flow connector, and, and that is just what it says. You literally hook up your airline to the uh, CFC, and there, there's no adjusting of air. Or right, no like tweaking, that. it's just, you get the same Exactly, PSI. it's a constant flow. Correct. Okay. Uh, the next one's gonna be your air control valve. Now that's one where you're gonna hook up and you're gonna get adjustments in the flow of the air. Uh, and that's going to be it. So you're going to be able to adjust the pressure and how fast that's coming into the respirator. Uh, the next one's going to be your Clem Cool Air Conditioner, or CCAC. Clem Cool Air Conditioner is actually going to allow you to cool the air by 30 degrees. And then we have another one that allows you to cool the air by 30 degrees, which is your Cool Air Tube, or CAT. Okay. Uh, the difference in the CAT and CCAC is the, the Cool Air Tube is actually rebuildable. So we actually sell replacement parts for that. Uh, so it's going to cost a little bit more money up front, but you could actually, if something breaks on, there's a good chance you'll be able to fix it. And a lot of these guys are in a suit all day, it gets a little hot in there, these are perfect for those. Right, guys. not to mention that air being fed from a compressor is generally hotter, right. so uh, you're gonna have hot air pumping in right off the bat. Which leads us into our last one, which is the climate control tube. Okay. Now the climate control tube is gonna both heat and cool the air by up to 30 degrees. All right, great, so, you know, like you said, we know hot environments, the air is already coming out, but if it's really cold conditions, this one might be a good one too. Right, you also have the opportunity to actually go ahead and heat that air. All right, so we have a lot of acronyms, which means we have a lot of options available when it comes to air control valves. Moving ahead, we have our breathing air filters. Right, now breathing air filters uh, is gonna be more specific to the high pressure respirators. Okay. Uh, and what these will do is actually remove any dirt or oil that could be introduced to the airstream through the, through the air compressor. A lot of contaminants in the air and everything like that. What about carbon monoxide? Carbon monoxide does not remove carbon monoxide. You okay. cannot, cannot stress that enough. Uh, you know, just by hooking this filter up, it will not remove that. So you gotta be really careful on, on how you use these. So even if you are upwind and, and you know, making sure that the airstream is not going into your system, there still might be a chance of carbon monoxide. And for that, we recommend our carbon monoxide monitors. Uh, exactly, yeah. We sell uh, both the CMS-2 and the CMS-3 uh, offered by Clemco. Um, what these monitors will do, as soon as the air source reaches up to 10 parts per million of carbon monoxide, yep. uh, an alarm will go off and, and notify the operator. And now these are not available in our packages, but we do highly recommend them. Right, yeah, and you'll notice that right on our website, you know, when you're looking at one of these respirators, it's, it's in bold print, we, you know, not included, but we highly recommend that you have one. So, you know, to keep your operator safe, uh, and to keep, you know, if OSHA ever came in and you guys were operating without it, uh, they're gonna shut you down, so it's just counterproductive. Right, absolutely. As John just mentioned, uh, OSHA regulations do require air supplied to the respirator to be at least grade D quality. So making sure your breathing air system is capable of providing quality breathing air for safe and efficient blasting is a must. So this has been a little bit of an overview of the breathing air system section on sandblastingmachines.com. We know the task can be very daunting. There's a lot of different parts that get into it. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'll be sure to help. So for sandblastingmachines.com, I'm Joe. With me, as always, is John. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.